for Jackie Dempson. Check it out. Now, it appears that Sosa Veli is claiming that he's owed $4 million by his record label. Now, a fan tweeted him on Twitter when they said, yo, I'm calling Alki, bitch. You getting dropped again. Now, Alki David is the president and CEO of the record label he signed to called Film on TV. Basically, recently, he was suspended for a while because he wasn't following the rules. He also was doing some other dumb stuff by, like, putting out music and leaking it through some unauthorized sites. So his record label owner wasn't really that happy with him, right? But he's now claiming on Twitter that uh, his goddamn record label owner is uh, owing him money. He says um, that bitch owed me $4 million. Tell him that. Now... First of all, man, Chief Keith is gangster with everybody except the people who signed the checks. Can we point that out? Chief Keith, he's a fucking gangster with everybody else except the person who signs his check. I guarantee if the ops owed him $4 million, fuck that. I guarantee if the ops owed him $4, he'd probably be blowing down the entire block. But of course... Once his daddy, Alki David, if his daddy owe him money, it's kind of like he's just going to cry about it on Twitter. Now, in reality, man, um, this is probably not even true. Okay, his record label has denied it. Also, they're reminding everyone that he's in a 360 deal, which means that what money he might think is coming into his pocket is being split. Everything is being split. Merchandise being split. By the way, he's currently, or actually not him, but people who run these companies that's associated with him, his uh, clothing line and other things and other avenues where, where he puts out music and does shows, they're being sued because all money that come into Chief Keith got to get split. He's on a fucking 360. So in reality, man, he might think he's owed $4, or $4 million, but he ain't going to get it. Right? He ain't going to get it. The, the most he might get back is that BMW i8 that he could flex on Instagram with. And he's going to have to learn to live with it, man. Again, you sign a 360 deal. You can't complain about money. It's 360, okay? When you sign a 360 deal, the point, and if you guys are wondering, because I know somebody's like, yo, why would you ever do 360? A 360 isn't bad when both sides are equally going hard for each other, okay? Of course, as you progress, you want to change that deal because that deal could definitely be problematic. But, I mean, if a record label is going to try to give you every opportunity to succeed and build an entire fucking, like, um, business even within and outside of music, which extends into brand deals, extends into even maybe the movies, extends into merchandising, extends into big tours than you would normally be able to go on yourself, a 360 could help but when you sign a 360 you still kicking back home playing xbox dropping an album and you think that oh yeah i sold like ten thousand i'm about to see ten thousand dollars no you're seeing like two because everybody gotta get their cut that's just what it is get in the comment box make you guys like that and subscribe um according to the record label um they haven't really officially responded but from what i've been told they say completely bullshit chief keith don't know what he's talking about and they're happy to point out to him where they don't owe him shit Okay, get in the comments. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Jackie Demix. I'm out.